So just a very quick video as I have some good news for owners of Skywatcher mounts such as this as GTI mount or any of their larger mounts if you're using the SinScan Wi-Fi adapter to control the mount with the SinScan Pro app. And if you recall this video where I show the time lapse of the moonrise, I mentioned that the Skywatcher mounts have a limitation that prevent you from selecting objects that are below the horizon. The Celestron mounts do not have this limitation and therefore you can align the mount and pre-select the moon before it rises so that the camera is accurately tracking at the moment it reaches the horizon. So to cut a long story short, when I first purchased this as GTI mount, I noticed there was a bug in the SinScan app that prevented you from selecting and tracking the moon correctly. It worked fine on the sun and the stars. So I contacted the Skywatcher development team for this app, made them aware of the problem, and they were very responsive and immediately released an updated version that had corrected the problem. So after making this video, I contacted the team again, I have their email, and I just requested that they implement the ability to select objects below the horizon as we can do with the Celestron mount and I sent them a link to this video just showing the reason why we would need to do that to produce the time-lapse videos of the moon rising. I'm happy to say that once again they are very responsive and they immediately have come back with a new update. If you look at point three there, the elevation limit now allows go to minus 10 degree altitude. And here is the email I received from them. Hello Rob, thank you for your suggestion. We will make this change in our next release. And they've done that within the space of a few days. So good job Skywatcher. The Skywatcher mounts can now have the same feature as the Celestron mount allowing you to select objects prior to them reaching the horizon. So I just installed the new app and yes, you can now select the lower limit of minus 10 degrees and that allows you to use the go to feature on objects that are below the horizon. There we have Jupiter, for example, is minus eight degrees at the moment. Now previously, this go to option would be blanked out if the object was below the horizon, but now It works just fine. 